Hello and welcome back and today I want to show you guys just how easy it is to utilize an old webcam and get that camera connected to your QNAP NAS and therefore use it as a camera within surveillance. It's incredibly straightforward and it is something I've discussed on the channel before but I don't think I've ever actually made a video about it so I thought I'd go through it today and show you guys how to do it. Now the first thing you're going to need is of course a webcam. Most webcams these days are connected via USB 2 or 3 and pretty much any webcam is supported. If you've got a webcam that can work with Windows 10 for example, it almost certainly will work with a QNAP NAS. But I do recommend you check out the compatibility list. But to be honest they don't update it as much as they should. So don't be surprised if even if it's not on the list it works. Today I'm using an HD920 Logitech. It's one of my older cameras that I used in the old days for live streaming and that's the camera we're going to connect to our NAS today. So the first thing you need to do once your QNAP NAS is up and running like mine is now you need to connect that camera to your NAS. Hopefully there's a little graphic on screen but to be honest you should know how to connect a USB device to a USB port. If not this video might not be for you. So moving forward go into the app center of your QNAP NAS and with all the other apps that you install over time, there'll be one app that you may have noticed before. And this is going to be the app with regard, let's go down here to surveillance, QUSB Cam 2. And this is an application that allows you to mount a webcam. And you can also use it in QVR Pro that I'll show you later on. So for now, as soon as you've seen this, sorry, vibrating arm watch there. If you go into the app, you just click install and it will install immediately. Now, it's not a big app, it has been updated several times, as you can see there, and it has been integrated into another, another bunch of services. Once you've done this, you don't actually need QVR Pro or Surveillance Station to access this camera. You can access the camera on its own via this application, or you can expand its utility by using it as one of the available cameras in QVR Pro, and that's the full deck as well, whether the desktop client app, the mobile app, or more. Once the app is fully installed, all you have to do is click on it and make your way into the application. We're going to leave that to carry on installing there. It's going to do its own thing while it initializes and gets itself set up. And you can choose whether you want the application to record itself or you can let QVR Pro or one of the other surveillance applications take care of that side of things for you. Again, make sure you've got at least a gig of memory on your NAS. Um, and ideally an Intel based CPU as well. The application should be installing somewhere in the background. It should almost be done in fact. The process is still happening there in the background. We're about 50%. So rather than rabbit at you guys for much longer. Here we go. And we've got an update there. But I'm not going to install that update quite yet. So now we've installed the camera application. We can see that it's here on the desktop. Alternatively you can head up here and find it along these options here. So once you're ready, click the QUSB Cam 2 app. There's a little splash screen here telling you how to set it up and lots of information about utilizing it for the first time. I'm going to save you a lot of bother. It tells you to connect the camera, as I've already told you to do, and to create channels. It's nice and straightforward, nice and easy, and you can also access the camera in a multitude of other ways. I'm going to let that display for next time. And as you can see, it's already detected the camera that I've connected prior to this recording. There's the name of the webcam and it tells you that it's enabled to record both audio and video. So from this point onwards, if it hasn't appeared by the way, you can always click refresh and it should add it to it as needed. From this point, click the plus symbol to create a channel and as you can see, it's found the webcam that I've connected. The webcam I'm using here has different light settings and of course you can change a number of the settings within it. You can select which channel you want to use. I'm going to use channel 1 and you can scooch on down and change some of the settings of the camera. Now depending on the camera you're using these settings will change. This camera supports up to 1080p but for now I'm going to leave it at 720p. You can also change the frames per second which can affect the quality of the recording in conjunction with the resolution you're going for. Finally, you can decide whether you want to enable audio recording if it enables that. I'm going to disable it for now simply because I am screen recording and this might make things a little difficult with regards to that recording. From there, we click apply and it will start adding our new camera. Now bear in mind, in a moment I'm going to flick to the USB camera to show you that it's functioning. If there are any drops in frame rate, take my word for it, 
that it is my screen recording happening right now as this is not an HDMI out enabled scenario where I can use a capture card. So now we've added the camera, we can head over to the live view option. As you can see, you've got the option of adding multiple cameras. There is some information with regards to licensing of these multiple cameras and definitely within QVR Pro, you can own, you arrive with eight camera licenses by default. But if you've got other USB cameras, you can add them to other ports. Why you'd need four USB cameras, unless you're using particularly long lengths of USB cable extension, I'm not sure. But I do think it's good to have one camera stationed on the NAS in case of theft and make sure your recordings are being backed up to another location. This may give you just an extra few seconds that can be retrieved in the event of a theft. From here, you can modify the settings you have created on the camera. These are the settings you've already used earlier, which will allow you to change things. And it will auto change as needed sometimes, particularly within the live view. You can dis get rid of the camera altogether, or you can share the channel with other users. Not just those that utilize the QNAP NAS, but you can give a link to this camera that can be accessed externally. And this is now a link you can give to people, and they will be able to see via that webcam. From now, I'm going to disable that setting. So for now, we're going to disable that. And we're not going to share this channel. Sorry, click that correctly. Close that. And click that button correctly. We're going to edit it. We're going to disable the sharing. Because what I'm going to show you now is the fact that even though that's a static image that's viewing one part of the studio that I'm in, you can view the camera live. Now, this is something you don't really get with the likes of QVR Pro to be able to see a live camera within the web browser. So for now, I'm just gonna show you by walking over to the other side of this room and show you myself on the camera here. One moment. I have to hope that I appeared on screen there, otherwise that would have been super embarrassing. Sadly, I was nowhere near the screen, so I'll have to find out in the post-edit. But for now, what will be interesting to know is, how about if we want to utilize this camera within QVR Pro? Well, first and foremost, now you've opened the application, you can see that the screen is recording, and the live view is when you can switch it to giving you everything you want to see on camera. So if we disable that now, We'll not disable the camera, but just close that window and make our way into QVR Pro, which we can do by clicking the icon in our listings for QVR Pro. Go into the application. We can have a look at other cameras. So if we go into the camera settings, we can have a look at the available cameras. Now, as you can see, I've already added this camera here in advance. There is our USB camera. But let's, decide, let's remove that camera to show you just how easy it is to add it. So while it deletes that camera, we're going to add it as a brand new camera. As you can see, I already have another camera running in this room right now, a camera which I've disabled for the sake of this video. If we click add, we can make our way in and it's going to scan our local area network for available cameras. And what it will do is find our web camera, which we've created a channel for. And as you can see, it's found our camera and there's the IP. So for now, we click there, and then we click next. We then have to add the login credentials for this NAS. So whatever your login credentials are for the NAS, enter them here if you have access to the camera. Then click test. It will verify the login information you've created, and the tick will denote that the camera is functioning. From there, you can click next, and then you can edit the recording settings as well as the alert settings of this camera. So every setting that you would expect from an IP camera in QVR Pro is now readily available for your webcam. And it's as straightforward as that. Adding cameras, and particularly adding web cameras to your QVR Pro has never been easier. And you can add multiple web cameras by adding additional streaming cameras on that application. So once again, this has been how to add cameras to QVR Pro and how to add a webcam to your Synology NAS overall. Right now, we can carry on looking and seeing how our cameras are setting up, and now it's fully added the camera, as you can see. And more than anything, I've got to recommend the QNAP surveillance software right now for the stuff that's happening. And with QVR Face and QVR Door coming later this year in 2020, 
I am quite looking forward to seeing what we can do with these cameras. In my next video, I am going to be taking a good look, let's get rid of that, at QVR Face. With QVR Face arriving in beta, we are going to be doing an overview of just how well QVR Face works on our brand new NAS. Other than that, if you've enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to learn more, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.